Hey Dancefarians, welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Today, let's take a look at some of the sea animals right over here, okay? We will be taking a look at sharks, whales, dolphins, and also some crushed shins, okay? So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so let's begin. This one right here is actually a pretty new great white shark figure that was added to our collection like um, recently. So we got this figure from a um, in-house brand of Twice Rust, I think. It's a really nice one. Um, this is actually a lobster which is um, you know, with us for many many years. Many many months, not years. <laughs> Alright, next it's actually a blue crab. It's a really beautiful one. It's from Safari LTD, you can see this, you know, figure it actually looks pretty realistic. This is a huge Megalodon, okay, one of my most favorite because it looks really good and I think that you guys really like this figure a lot as well. You can actually fit it with like, you know, small little um, figures. Let me just try to find one which is small and uh, let's try to find a small little dolphin and just feed it to and you can actually retrieve it by opening this little latch right here okay so this is a gigantic megalodon okay uh, let's take a, take a look at this this is basically like a small little bottom nose dolphin looks really adorable um, let's put all the dolphins on um, you know inside this box on the right hand side and what is this this it's a blaine views bit wheel it's a very unique you know species it actually has a this you know two really trademark and significant um little bump little bumps okay next we have a gray wheel this is a beautiful figure with like movable parts you can actually move the flippers the head and the tail as well so really cool one next what is this um this is a shark but i have no idea what this is it it could be a bull shock, I'm not too sure, okay? All right, the next one is actually a sperm whale. You can actually easily recognize this by, you know, the um, head shape, which is kind of a squarish, okay? There's a sperm whale for you. We have a red octopus, okay? Let's see, what else we've got? And this one is actually like a purple octopus. It's a pretty cool figure, really huge one. And um, it doesn't have any brand to it, so I think, you know, I can't really tell, you know, which manufacturer actually produced this. Okay, let's move on. Um, we do have a um, hammerhead shark baby right here, so this is a really beautiful one. Okay. Next, this is a great white. This figure has been on um, with ours for many years. Yep, I think we got this in like 2017, if I'm not wrong. And this is a hammerhead shark with a beautiful articulation. You can actually move the head, the flippers, the fins, the tail as well. And this is a fruit shark. It's a really beautiful one as well. We got this from the National Geographic Shark Week playset. And this is a mega mouth shark. Um, this type of shark is actually very rare. You can only find them like really deep in the ocean waters. Like really, really hard to find. Yep, I don't think there are like more than 10 spotted. Yeah, I, I'm not too sure. Yeah. So this one is actually a marble ray. So it basically got this, got this name from the patterns on his body. You know, these little spots, they actually look like the spots, the patterns on a marble slab of stone. Okay, let's move on. The beautiful jellyfish. This figure is actually a very nice one. Uh, it's from Safari LTD, you can see, you know, lots of the, uh, I mean, the entire figure is actually translucent. You can see partly through it. It's really beautiful. This has got to be one of our, um, I think this is, this is the most colorful, you know, sea animal in our video today. This is the Sally Light Foot Crab. Really beautiful one. Yep. Okay. It's actually a pretty old figure. Next, we have a basking shark. You can see the mouth, it's always like wide open. So it's basically, you know, it opens its mouth, taking all the water, taking all the seawater and filter out all the small food particles such as krill and small little, you know, organisms, I guess. Um, another great white shark figure, really beautiful one. This is an orcar, also known as a killer whale. I think we got this figure like many years back. Uh, we got this from like, I think we got this from AliExpress if I'm not wrong. And here we have a beautiful um, right wheel, I think. 
Oh, bow head wheel, I beg your pardon. Bow head wheel. So we have two huge bow head wheel figures. And this is a mink wheel. Um, I always recognize this wheel because it has very unique patterns on its body. Uh, we got this figure pretty much recently as well. Another wheel, and this one is known as the humpback wheel. You can actually easily recognize this by the little bumps on its body. And this is like a little spot for it to like spray water. Okay. Next, we have a wheel shock. This is also a filter feeder. I've actually swam with wheel shocks before. They are very gentle. They're very docile. They fit on like small little crew. And um, yeah, they're filter feeders. Basically, they take in all the food particles. And I mean, they take in all the seawater and filter out all the food particles. Next, what do we have right here? Another great white shock figure. I think this great white shock figure has got to be one of the better looking ones because it actually captures the, um, you know, uh, the angry side of, yeah, another look, look of um, um, the shock. Next, we have a goblin shark. This goblin shark, yes, is a very, very cool figure. And if you guys know that goblin shark, this part of the mouth, it's actually like this. It really looks so weird. So I've actually seen a video of the goblin shark, you know, the mouth moving forward, trying to eat the prey, yeah. They can actually extend the mouth and it looks pretty, pretty scary, yeah. So then this is a, a goblin shark. Um, another rock car, okay, it's a beautiful one. Another rock car, seems like we have plenty of, uh, you know, rock cars. And you guys know that all cars, they are actually the apex predators. They, they have, they don't have any natural predators on their own, so they can, you know, they are like the king of the ocean, and they can actually take down a whale, which is pretty, pretty uh, impressive because they are actually much smaller than a whale. And another sperm whale figure. This is a beautiful figure. Um, I think this was from Safari LTD. A blue shark, yes, this is actually known as a blue shark. I'm not trying to describe the color of the shark. This is the actual name of this shark, blue shark, okay? Let's see, what else we've got? Another shark figure. Okay, I think we got this figure with all. I mean, if you guys take a look at the great white sharks, you can see plenty of scars. Yes, this is true, because if you take a look at your know, real sharks, you will actually notice that most of the sharks, they have plenty of better scars. Yeah, I think they got it, you know, from attacking other um, fish. They're kind of like rough. Yeah, they kind of like bump into things, things as well. Another goblin shark figure. This one is really beautiful. Let's see what else we've got. We have a reef squid. Okay, this one is, looks really beauty, beautiful and pretty. This is a blue spotted ray. This is the actual name of this ray. So you can see plenty of blue spots on its body. Um, let's see, what else we've got? Horseshoe crab. Yes, this one is like a living fossil. It existed more than um, 60 million years ago and it is still found nowadays. Yep, you can still find them, horseshoe crab. You can probably find them on like beaches. I've actually touched some of them before in my local zoo. They actually have a, sec um, a section where you can, you know, touch certain um, sea animals. And here's an octopus. You guys know that octopus, they are like, you know, the king of the skies. They can camouflage themselves by changing their body colors. They can even change the texture of the skin. I mean, the texture of the body to match, for example, like a very rough rock. They are very, very good at, you know, um, disguising and, um, you know, camouflaging themselves. This is a narwhal. This spear right here is actually an overgrown tooth, guys. I'm not kidding you another of cars. I think that, you know, I think in, in our entire box, I think our all cars is like, you know, one of the highest number of figures that we have. I mean, check this out. Another one right here. This is a beautiful one. The all cars are also known as killer wheels, like what I've mentioned just now. This is a um, grey wheel. I need to have a few guys to let me know what are all these little bumps on his body. Okay. Next, another basking shot figure. Really beautiful. This one right here should be a bottlenose dolphin, okay? And here we have a um, blue whale, nice. And a lobster, okay? Lobster is actually very different from a spiny lobster. Spiny lobster do not have these two claws or these two pincers, okay? Let's see, what else we've got? 
this it's a um, leopard shark if I'm not wrong yep leopard shark you can see you know it has some spots or um, you know some patterns on this body that will probably makes it look a little bit like a leopard this one right here is known as a king crab you can see um, it has very long legs long claws and the body is like filled with thorns another lobster right here Another wheel shark, yes, this wheel shark figure is one of my most favorite. I think we have a couple of wheel shark figures, and this one has got to be one of the best ones out there. Yep, the 1991 Safari LTD figure. This is known as a warbler game, yes. I've never heard of this figure until I got this. Oh, I mean, I've never heard of this shark until I got this figure. Yeah, it's a really nice one. And this one is a bamboo shark. I think it got its name from the patterns on its body. It looks like the patterns on the bamboo. And this is a Mako shark. Yes, there is another uh, Mako shark out there, but it's actually a short fin Mako shark. Just gonna put this aside first. I'm gonna do a comparison later on. This it's a soft fish, which is a type of shark. If I'm not wrong, I can't remember. I think so. And this one is actually known as the um, sand tiger shark. Yeah, I think it basically got the same from its colors. Um, two squids right here. This is actually supposed to be a giant squid, and this one is um, yeah, more like a cuttlefish. I feel. We have a hammerhead shark right here. It's a beautiful one, yellow color. I call this the lemon hammerhead shark. <laughs> yes, because we do have a lemon shark right here. This is actually known as a lemon shark because of the skin color. Yeah, it looks a little bit yellowish. Very cool. Um, pilot will. Okay, pilot's wheel. This little bomb reminds me of the bomb that you can actually find on the um, beluga wheel. Okay, do you guys know that beluga whales they can actually use echolocation to help them find a way uh, in the ocean, which is kind of um, impressive. Another crab right here. Another crab, and this is known as a hermit crab. Okay, we have an ammonite right here, which is an um, extinct species of um, sea animals. Okay. You can see it actually looks like an octopus with a shell to me yeah, and the eye is actually right here great white shark another great white shark figure yet another one no this is actually not a great white shark this is a megalodon yes do you guys know that um the shark is probably around this size when you do a comparison yeah this is like a modern day shark and this is a megalodon yeah they're really huge i mean too bad they're already extinct Otherwise, we will have a feast. I mean, uh, a feast on the ice. This is our shop feed Mako shop, and this is the Mako shop. Yeah, so these two, I think they're closely related. This one should be a zebra shop. Yes, that's right, a zebra shop right here. Okay, nice one. Another great white shop figure. This is the bow head wheel. Remember, I told you guys that we have two huge bow head wheel figures. This is another one, and um, this is another wheel shock. Yeah, so we have a couple of wheel shock figures, which I really love them. This one is a pretty interesting. Um, it's known as a pygmy sperm wheel, and it is actually very small for a wheel. It is roughly the size of a uh, dolphin. Yeah, that's right. This is probably known as a ghost shark. Okay, and this one is known as a say whale. This is not a beluga whale, this is actually known as a white whale. Her stingray, it has this sting right here, this little spear right over here. The jellyfish, the jellyfish, they are actually like, you know, stay clear of them, guys. They are pretty looking, they are really beautiful. But they can be poisonous, okay? And this one is a scallop hammerhead shot. You can see the hammerhead, there are like some little bumps and curves, some protrusions. Yeah, really beautiful one. Another lobster. We have a manta ray. Yeah, manta rays are lovely. I've seen them swimming before, and they basically, you know, move their body in a wavy manner and they're able to like glide through the water so. You know, elegantly. This one, I've no idea what this is. Um, it's. I think this is doing as a pointer shock. So I actually need the help of you guys, okay? Basking shock right over here. This is a great white, okay? It's a very, very interesting looking great white. 
another one, okay? This one has a movable head and body, which is very, very cool. But we got this figure, you know, it was actually sent to us by a Dan Safarian. So uh, his name is actually Jeremiah. Jeremiah has been a great supporter of the channel. Another great white shark figure. I think we got this from the um, Shark Week playset. A tiger shark right over here. A mini tiger shark. Yeah, this one is cool. We got this from a um, playset that comes along with a um, megalodon and a vehicle. A hammerhead shark. Beautiful one. Another Mensa Ray. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. Another gob goblin shark. Yes, you guys should know that. You know, goblin goblin sharks, they actually look kind of hideous. Yeah, I mean, if you take a look at the videos, you can Google, you know, goblin shark, you will find that they actually are pretty scary looking. With a cow nose ray. Okay. Okay. Um, another ray with blue spots. And um, this is a nurse shark. You can easily recognize this because it has like two fang-like structure you know in front of the snot okay nurse shark another pilot wheel we have two of the similar figures and this is a bull shark they are actually known to be pretty aggressive more aggressive than great whites another nair wheel with an overgrown tooth this is a mini blue whale figure, really beautiful one. We got this from a place known as Colorata, I think. And um, this is known as the Pacific White Soda Dolphin. Yep, Atlantic White Soda Dolphin, I beg your pardon. This dolphin has a very unique um, feature. It actually has a um, yellow strut across the body. This one, it's a um, grey reef shark. Yeah, you can see the body is like very slender. Yep, very aerodynamic looking. This is the black tip rift shark. You can see all the fins. It has some dark colored um, tip right at the end. Okay, black tip rift shark. This is probably a bottlenose dolphin, or you can just call this a dolphin. Oh, I've actually put some sharks in the wrong box, so let me get them back into the right boxes. This is a bonnet head, bonnet hammerhead shark. Bonnet head shot. It's not a hammer head shot. Okay, it looks like a hammer head, but it's like much shorter than the hammer head. And uh, this is known as a shock ray. We have two shock ray figures, if I'm not wrong. So there's another one right over here. Yeah, I think they're similar. So this is actually known as a shock ray. Do we have another one? I think so. Could be. So this is the um, other mega morph shock that we have. So we only have like two two mega morph shocks. And this is known as the uh, white tip reef shark. There is another one which is very similar. This is known as the ocean white tip reef shark. But you can see the white tips on this one is uh, more obvious and more distinctive. The line is like very crisp and uh, very clear. For this, it's more like a um, you know graduated tone. So that's the difference. One is known as the um, white tip white tip reef shark. And um, the other one is known as the uh, Oceanic White Tip Reef Shark. Let me try to zoom in on this. Yeah, I think we can. Yeah. My camera is pretty good right now. Okay, um, yeah, let's see what else we've got. Um, this one is actually uh, a Tiger Shark. And this one is a Genghis River Dolphin. Okay? And here we have another Wobber Gang, I think. Wobber Gang. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. I'm gonna try to make this. My camera is like off focus right now, so I have to do like the um, automated zoom on my own. So this is a bottlenose dolphin, I think. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we've got. We have an Ichthyosaurus right over here. This is actually not exactly a shark it is more like a um you know prehistoric sea animal but i've actually put this in my sharks um, um collection and this one is actually a um, great white shark figure again and this one is a probably a pointer shark okay and a mini orca right over here it looks really beautiful we got this from a brand called coloretta okay and let's see what else we've got a mini hammerhead okay 
this is a beluga calf. It looks like a dolphin, but it's actually a beluga calf. And um, a small little narwhal, which I think it's a narwhal calf. This is known as a Vaquita propoise, and they are critically endangered. I'm gonna do some research later on. Hopefully, you know, the population is increasing because the last the last time I heard there there were actually like less than 10 left in the world, which is kind of sad. This one is a zebra shark. Yeah, I, I feel it looks more like a leopard shark. Yeah. And this one, it could be a carpet shark. I, I have no idea. And uh, a small little sawfish. This is actually known as a thrasher shark. It's very, very easily recognizable because it has this extremely long tail end, which other sharks or other fish don't have. Okay, so it's very easily recognizable. This is probably a, um, you know, it could be a water gang. This is a beluga. And um, we have two little dolphins right here. This is a beluga and um, this is a bottlenose dolphin calf. It's a baby. This is the Pacific White Sided Dolphin. Yeah. Previously, I've shown you guys an Atlantic White Sided Dolphin, which is right here. And this is the Pacific White Sided Dolphin. Here we have a. Um, this is probably a. Um, it could be a bamboo shark or it could be a nurse shark because the two things. This one, I call this the blue shark. For this one, um. I'm gonna call this uh, probably a great white. Yeah. This is a hammerhead, no dot. And um, this is a. Uh, this should be a bottlenose dolphin. Yeah, bottlenose. This is very, very small. And um, could be a gray reef shark. And this one. No idea. Probably a. Uh, I'm not sure, Mako shop, I I'm not sure, okay? So basically, I'm sure you guys like three boxes, okay? I've actually put them onto the floor and uh, repacked them into their boxes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Thanks and good luck.